So the other night, uh, when we first talked about this, <clears throat> we said that we did not believe that this was an actual kidnapping. We believe that the, the, uh, the whole thing was staged. And in fact, we've identified the woman in the surveillance video who took the car. And we can say now without a doubt that this was not a theft, that this was not a car theft. This was not a kidnapping. Um, this was a staged event, as we had said previously. We also know that someone dropped off the woman who took the vehicle, dropped her off on the, on the adjoining street by the gas station. We know who the person was who dropped her off as well. The woman in the video who took the vehicle is a cousin of Christopher Davila. She's been arrested and charged with an unrelated offense and she is in our custody right now. PIO will provide you with that information on the charges once she's booked. We believe that the story of the kidnapping was made up, made up to cover up foul play involving Jake, uh, King J. Davila. And I can't elaborate on that more right now, but to, to, to emphasize, we believe that the kidnapping, the staged kidnapping was to cover up foul play. We know that there's more people out there who have information on this case. What happened to Jay King, I'm sorry, King Jay. And I want them to know that even if you were not directly involved in this, if you are withholding information, if you have lied to the police, that we will charge you at the conclusion of this investigation. There, there, we, we've gotten a lot of information from talking with different family members um, as the investigation has continued, but there's one answer that we don't have, and that is, where is King J? That is what we're trying to find out. Um, you know, the father spoke with the media from jail, and he spent more time speaking with the media answering media questions than he spent with us or answering our questions. And that information was put out on the, by the media. There's been some criticism of the department. We understand the anguish and the pain that the mother's going through right now. But I think the information that we have just uh, uncovered uh, throughout this day and there's more happening right now as we speak. The information that we've put out today refutes all of the allegations made against the San Antonio Police Department in this investigation. Um, I want to again thank the FBI for volunteering to help us in this. They are providing resources that uh, they have that we don't necessarily have. Um, they are doing this on their own time, because they are not being paid right now. And we also want to thank the constables for assisting us yesterday, in the, or today, in the park, uh, and yesterday. Um, and we'll open it up for questions. I, if, if, if you ask a question that, that would require me to give detail of the investigation, I'm simply going to say I'm not going to go there. Um, so if you have questions I can answer, I will. If I can't, I won't go there. What would you hope that citizens would do to help you get this wrapped up and solved? Exactly what I've asked from the beginning. If you have information on where King J may be or information about anything about this case, give us a call. We want that information. It helps us tie everything together. We've, we've got a lot of information right now. The, the investigation is continuing as we speak around the clock. Uh, we've got a lot of investigators working on it, uh, and we, we continue to uncover information that we didn't have yesterday and we didn't have earlier today. Much of the search has centered around Rodriguez Park. Is that going to broaden, or has it It'll already? broaden. We, I mean, we, Rodriguez Park was due diligence. We had, to we had to search 
Rodriguez Park, we had to search the body of water in there. It's, it's, it's due diligence. If we overlooked it and the baby may have been placed there, then you know, it's, it's part of the investigation. Is there anything you can tell us about what you think might have happened uh, to the child? Pardon? Is there anything you can tell us about what you think might have happened to the child, the foul play? No, we, we just believe that there was foul play. Again, ask yourself, why, why would someone concoct such a story? Do, do police think that the child was in the car, or is it possible that this whole thing was... No, the, 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 the child was not in the car. There was some talk over that baby bottle that was found at the park. Did y'all ever determine if that belonged to King J or not? They were being, there's tests being done on it right now, so we have not made that determination as of yet. I know you guys are still trying to, you know, come through the facts and question people, but at this point, do you believe that the baby is still alive? We believe there was foul play, that's all I'll say on that. I've seen on social media, some people are wondering why an Amber Alert was never issued. Because it, I've answered this question last night, it, it, it did not meet the criteria for an Amber Alert that's set by DPS. Last question. Warrants? Pardon? Warrants? Warrants. Are you search warrants? Are you actively still looking somewhere? We are actively looking. Everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, and, and we will continue to look everywhere as this investigation moves forward. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you all you. very much.